Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be looking at this amazing new fluid engine or fluid simulation system called Fluid Lab. It's a real-time fluid simulator and uh, we're going to look at how it works. Uh, the great thing about this is that uh, it doesn't use the domain so you don't have to limit your simulation within a domain or a cube like this so you can start right away. So let's start. I'm just going to add a cube here and add a sphere and uh, just scale it down a bit and uh, if you want this to be the fluid first you need to create a fluid group so just click on this and uh, name it whatever you want i'll call it sphere hit ok and now we have a fluid we have a fluid group inside that fluid group you can add emitters and colliders so i'm going to select this and add it as an emitter you see immediately it turns into a fluid if i hit play everything works except that it's going through the ground because we haven't set that up as a collider so let's select that and go into our colliders and add this as a collider so if i hit play now you can see we already have something interesting i'll pull my fluid up and that this like that it gives you the freedom to work in any area which is super super amazing uh, the settings are also self-explanatory uh, if you select your emitter you can go to the fluid settings and uh, you can look at the different settings uh, you can increase the resolution we get something like that if it looks too chaotic like that all you have to do is go to the physics and turn on adaptive that will change the subframes automatically to improve your simulation so if we hit play now You can see we get a more stable simulation than before you're not limited to just simulating balls so we can add let me use my asset library here to get a character a walking character and drop them into our scene so i'll search mine here let me get i have a character that works uh yeah make editable and uh, let me just go into the top sheet and make sure i give them a walk yeah animation just like that can switch back to my materials here okay so let's use this guy let's go back to our fluid lab let's use this guy as a collider i'm going to come in here add them as a collider as well and let's create a larger fluid um shift d okay so this is going to be our fluid we can add this as an emitter just like that and this as our collider so let's go to the colliders and add that. I want this to be open at the top. And I don't think I need this anymore. So yeah, you can see the character, how the character is walking. So let's go to the fluid settings and change this to oil. But uh, you need to set preset uh, to have uh, this change. Let's try sand set preset and uh, that's just a character walking in sand there are little settings here if you don't understand any you can go down to the to the add-on in the preferences and look at the documentation uh, it does also fluid mixing or fluid interactions here so i can see the different it's quite powerful here you see some amazing sand simulation yeah this is a, a good alternative to manta flow yeah it's always great to have alternatives or different options uh, for example i don't think a manta flow can do a fluid can do a, a simulation like this uh, it doesn't do sand it doesn't uh, it doesn't really do fluid simulations small fluid simulations like this very well you, you have to bring the resolution up quite a lot let me show you another example here say you have some rocks uh, we can just select everything and add them into a collection let me call this x we want to create a new fluid group so let me add a plane up here this is going to be our emitter and create a new fluid group at uh, this time we want an inflow so that's going to be our plane and let's add our plane as our emitter if i hit play you see we get that i'm going to also go to the fluid settings here and just increase the normal velocity to three maybe i think i'm rotating this i should rotate this this side perfect uh, let me rotate this on the x 
Perfect. Now, let's also create some colliders. So I'll go to the colliders section. Since our rocks are in a collection, I can add collection and just select it from the drop down here. And uh, now we have our rock just like that. If we hit play, just look at that. And uh, to get a simulation of this detail using Mantle Flow, you need a lot of resolution. And yeah, that's one of the drawbacks of Mantle Flow. Let me add a plane here. Also add it as a collider, search for a rock material. Uh, we can slowly fill in uh, this. Right now we are we are simulating up to 100 frames. So let's use 50, 150. Now just look at that. We can increase the particle count. You can also mesh this. So at the same time as you're simulating, so you just go on a meshing and add a mesh to the new ground to our simulation. And I uh, can see it's already setting up the materials. Now uh, these particles are getting in the way, so I can just turn them off for now and just look at uh, this. This was just a quick overview of what Fluid Lab is. If you want to get it, links all links are going to be in the description. Thank you for watching.